Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for Slammin' Saturdays, presented by New England Wrestling Alliance. We've got an action-packed show ready for you. I'm Daly. Jedi's not here because of life, okay? Alright ladies and gentlemen, let's kick off this show this week. You got only me, Adam, calling the shots here. We got some, uh, I believe we've got tag team action kicking off today's show. Yes, that's right. It's Woo World Order. They're on their way back to the championship match. Back to try, to try to challenge Brooklyn Bratva for the... the Tag Team At Championships here in New England Wrestling Alliance. Who World Order has been on a roll outside Bobby of their loss at the last pay-per-view. Rob B looking great as always. Mr. M looking huge as always. These two, they're ready. They are ready to get back to the action. There's Arlene. Look at these two guys. Normally, Je Jedi would have a whole bunch of things to say here, but uh, he's at home this week. In reality, we totally forgot to put this show up on time. Forgot to record the audio for it, but you know what? We got to record this audio at some point. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen... How you doing out there? Go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Join that notification squad. Click the bell to get all the notifications for ZOP Gaming. And of course, here comes their opponents. The Empire, Death Trooper, and Sith Trooper. These guys have... They've turned in some good matches. But overall, as a team, they can't win. They just cannot win out here. Even when they've been set up in a two-on-one match, they somehow still figure out a way to lose. <laughs> and the crowd does not like them one bit. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, Wu World Order, the Empire, ref is about to call it. Let's go. Oh, Mr. M and Robbie take down the Empire immediately. Mr. M with a huge shot to Death Trooper there. Robbie taking out Sith Trooper. Blue World Order showing some aggression right here at the beginning of this match. Mr. M just giving the boots to Death Trooper. Robbie taking Sith Trooper up to the top of the corner there. Big neck breaker to Death Trooper. The Empire has done absolutely no offense up to this point, other than getting themselves beat up. I don't know if they're trying to wear out Wu World Order early. What is Death Trooper doing on the outside? Leaving Sith Trooper inside to get beat up by both members of Wu World Order. Huge elbow from Death Trooper, first offense. Takes out Raw B and takes out Mr. M. Sith Trooper with a quick shot in the corner to Robbie. Mr. M dropped onto the hardest part of the ring on the outside there. Oh, then receives a knee shot from Death Trooper. Sit. The Empire seems to have found their offense finally. Well, Death Trooper's found his offense. Well, more accurately, the Wu World Order has found their way back. 
Bobby Bobby giving, just giving it to Sith Trooper in the ring. Death Trooper and Mr. M battling on the outside. DDT on the outside. Mr. M fights his way back. Robbie tries to help out, but misses everybody. Another DDT from Death Trooper. Another DDT from Death Trooper taking out both members of Wu World Order. Rolls back in to celebrate with his teammate, who Sith Trooper rolls to the outside and immediately collected by Mr. M. Takes him over the hard way. Oh, plants Death Trooper, Mr. M. Robbie again misses everything with that high flying move. High flyers are not always successful. High risk, high reward, lots of risk. Robbie fights back against Death Trooper, takes him single leg takedown, but Death Trooper just right back to his feet. Mr. M takes him up and all the way over. Robbie rolls back into the ring, can only win the match by pin or submission inside the ring. But there are no count outs here. Robbie high flying move again misses the target. And Mr. M is just beating up Sith Trooper on the outside. Sith Trooper is just there to be a body. Oh, into the steps, Death Trooper is sent. Sith Trooper sent all the way back to the ring from the ramp. Robbie is taking Death Trooper to the cage. Spinebuster in the ring. Mr. M is setting something up inside the ring. Clothesline picks it, picks Sith Trooper back up. A second clothesline. Will there be a third? Yes, there is. Robbie on the outside just laying in strikes on Death Trooper. Mr. M sets it up. Takes Sith Trooper over for one, spins him around. Huge clothesline, turns him inside out. Mr. M looks like he's trying to set something else up. Slap, and Sith Trooper just goes down to one knee. Death Trooper climbs to the top corner. Mr. M is very far away from that corner right now. Catches Mr. M. Big DDT plants the big man. Robbie gets back up, slides his way into the ring. Misses a super kick. Instead gives Sith Trooper a drop kick in the corner. Robbie reverses. Catches Sith Trooper for a series of strikes. Death Trooper catches Robbie for an arm. Ooh, wrenching that shoulder. Mr. M again with that strike. It's almost a slap. <laughs> Sith Trooper and Robbie are both barely getting back to their feet. Death Trooper takes Robbie over. De DDT, Sith Trooper goes for the pin. One, two, oh, kick out. Nearly had him there. Death Trooper interrupts and goes for the shoulder attack on Mr. M. Sith Trooper sets something up on Robbie. Oh, spinning back kick. Robbie is down. What is Sith Trooper gonna do? Oh, he goes for the pin. One, two, interrupted by Death Trooper. What is Death Trooper doing? He doesn't want Sith Trooper to get the, the, the pin? That's weird. Robbie connects, but no. Sith Trooper is on a roll here. Oh! Cutter out of nowhere! Death Trooper gets Robbie back to his feet. Hits him with a big elbow. Robbie, due to his size, was able to just barely duck under that shot. Wu World Order seems to be finding their rhythm once again. Yeah. 
Sith Trooper has been introduced to Suplex City there. And Robbie introduced his right fist to Death Trooper's head. One, two, three. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my God. Mr. M was just not finished with those clotheslines. Look at that clothesline, ladies and gentlemen. Turns him inside out. Robbie with those strikes. Sith Trooper, I, he tried. He tried. That spinning back kick is dangerous from these two, though. Look at that series of clothesline onto Sith Trooper there. Will World Order, congratulations. Your You're winners. one step closer Let's to challenging the uh, Brooklyn Bratva, I do believe it is. Yes, yes. Looking at my notes, Brooklyn Bratva for the New England Wrestling Alliance Tag Team Championships, which will be happening in about five weeks when Triple H gets here. Mr. M, go ahead and get that checked out by medical staff in the back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is our second match of the evening. It's a singles match. We'll be having Baki taking on Fear. The following Just last week, we had uh, the Reaper attempt to interrupt Oma's match. And instead, right at the end of it, got beat down by, by Uncle Freddy and Oma. A little bit of confusion as to how Uncle Freddy was able to get back out to the ring. But this time, Uncle Freddy hopefully will be staying out here with his training partners. Where is the championship belt? He keeps... Who keeps leaving it in the back? Was it Earl? I swear to God, it's Earl. Anyway, Bucky... The, the boy who has never been able to truly finish a match. He'll be hopefully out here. He's taking on Dr. Fear. Hopefully there won't be any interruptions this time around. And to make sure, uh, Dr. Fear has been asked to have the Reaper come out with him or the Reaper is banned from ringside. So we'll see when Dr. Fear comes out here. Lights dip out. The room gets cold. And yes, yes, the Reaper is out here with Dr. Fear. And the Reaper opponent, is still looking for revenge on Uncle Reaper, Freddy after losing the championship to him. Disciples of the Apocalypse from your darkest fears. Hopefully, Dr. Fear won't be uh, monologuing, monologuing too much throughout this match. Seems to be uh, one of the things he does, just to, it ends up getting in, in his way. Villains monologue too much and the heroes come back. Stop monologuing, just do it. Anyway, two of the three members of Monster Squad get in the ring. Former champion and former monster himself. Well, no, they're all monsters. Not former monsters. Eh, Doctor, gotta quickly look through my notes. I, I, I swear Dr. Fear held a championship title at one time or another. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, the uh, Baki, Dr. Fear, Ref's about to call it. Let's go. Huge takedown by Baki right away. Dr. Fear. Baki is out here with a new mission, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this. Drops the leg like Hogan. The Reaper gets up, starts to have words with Baki, attempting to uh, give Fear some time to get back to his feet. Which it does work out. Dr. Fear with a suplex there. Baki, fast hands. He learned that from Uncle Freddy. They're picking up tricks from each of them. Oh. 
You should be able to hear woos from the crowd. DDT coming up. There it is. And Dr. Fear with the reversal there. Russian leg sweep. No show from New England Wrestling Alliance. Would be complete without one of those. Bucky sends Dr. Fear to the corner. Stalks after him, but it gives Fear enough time to reverse. Bucky seems to be caught up in the ropes here. But it's not going to slow him down. Oh, big back breaker. Dr. Fear is in no, no position right now. He's, he's looking pretty bad out there. He was underprepared, it seems. Well, what is Baki setting up here? Top rope. Oh, suplex. Backdrop suplex. Dr. Fear is feeling it. Baki's take, relaxing in the corner. Dr. Fear with a sling blade taking Baki down. Baki reverses. Huge shoulder strike. Reverse from Dr. Fear. Back and forth these guys go. They've got each other well scouted out here. Again, the Reapers got words for Baki. Dr. Field gets back to his feet, but he's hanging onto the ropes, barely standing. <laughs> Fear dives over and then collects a clothesline. And Uncle Freddy likes what he's seeing in the ring. <laughs> Fear sent all the way to the outside. Baki joins him out there. Sends him into the, oh, in all the way over to the barricade. I thought he was sending him into the stairs for a second there. Hits him right in the bridge of the nose with that knee. Ref's at a three count. Will they get back in in time? Four has been knocked down. Rocky's back in the ring and he's celebrating. He's willing to take a count out win here. Ref is at six. Baki dumps back out to the outside to break up the count. Two. He's got fear as far away from Reaper right now as possible. Three. Both men back in the ring. Dr. Fear has been playing possum there. Goes for a series of strikes right to Baki's face. I don't know if those closed hand strikes were legal. And then he starts monologuing. Rocky sends him to the far ropes, give him, gives him a knee, brings him back over, another knee, and a Russian leg sweep. And another leg drop. Bucky goes to the corner and celebrates with the fans. I think he's celebrating a bit too early here, ladies and gentlemen. Gets Fear back to his feet, collects him up. And drops him onto the back of his neck. The weight of Bucky Fear cannot be standing properly. Woo! Look at those strikes. Chops from Bucky. That kid's hands, they are like stone. Again with the knee strikes off the ropes. And... A Russian leg sweep. Baki, he's celebrating too much here, ladies and gentlemen. He's gonna get Fear back into this match. Fear's gonna end up winning. Rising knee! Let's see that one more time. Spins him around, hits him with that hard knee. From the other angle, oh, that connected completely. 100% connection. But Baki gets Fear back to his feet again. Spins him out and gives him a lariat. That's got to be it, ladies and gentlemen. Those two moves alone, there's no way Fear knows what's going on anymore. Baki goes for the pin. One. Two. Oh, just a two count. Dr. Fear kicks out. He's still got a little bit left in the tank, ladies and gentlemen. 
Pauky just starts giving him the kicks. And then another strike. They're trading chops. Dr. Fear sends Baki to the outside. This is about the time that Baki normally would start losing the match. And it does seem that the pattern is going to keep going in the right direction. I mean, the usual direction. Baki's back in the ring. Dr. Fear joins him. Huge clothesline. Baki brings Dr. Fear to his feet, collects him up, goes for a small package. The most devastating move, one, two. Oh, just a two count. He hits him with the most devastating move in all of professional wrestling. And it did not work out. Series of chops, one big suplex. And Baki starts to cheer, cheer himself on again. Dr. Fear gets to his feet, reverses, hands Baki a kick. He starts to set something up over here. What can it be? Oh! Inside on the, on the lower rib cage. That's going to cause some internal damage. But Baki gets back to his feet. Both men missing on strikes. Baki sent into the corner. Kicks, sends Baki back down. He's reeling here, ladies and gentlemen. What is, what is he trying, what is Dr. Fear trying to do? Oh, a stomp to the back of the head there. And he goes for the pin. One, just a one count. Baki has a lot left in the tank here. The ref is trying to find the perfect spot in the ring so he doesn't get knocked out. Another shot to the lower back from Dr. Fear. We need a stop to the gut. Picks Baki up. And he starts working that left arm. Oh, wrenches it hard. Wrenches it again. Baki does not seem to be giving up, though. Dr. Fear finally breaks the hole. Picks Baki up and slams him head first into the corner. But Baki fights back and slams him head first into the corner. Both men are dazed a little hard. You never start with the head. Leaves the victims feeling fuzzy. Baki brings Fear back to his feet. Hits him with a hard strike, sends him around. Rising knee, ladies and gentlemen. One more time, let's see that. And from the other angle, yes. Connected 100%. Dr. Fear is knocked out. The Reaper is unhappy with it. He's complaining, trying to get the ref's attention. One Lariat, two Lariat. And a drop kick. Baki is hyping himself up. Oh, but Fear was playing. Possum kicks him in the head. Dr. Fear is sent back to the outside and brought back in the hard way. Reaper's got words for the ref. Or does he have words for, the, for Baki? I'm not entirely sure. I can't hear from up here. Dr. Fear tried to set something up, but Baki powered out of it. Baki celebrates, shows that he's got some left in the tank. Huge lariat. Let's see it one more time. Takes Baki, uh, takes Fear right to the mat. Baki goes for the pin. And the Reaper and the ref are gonna have words. Baki picks up Dr. Fear one more time. Hits him in the face, spins him around, but Fear fights back. Goes for the pin. One, two, just a one count. Baki rolls to the outside and collects himself. 
<laughs> Freddy on the outside. A Reaper just put a chair inside the ring. Trying to trying to give his his uh, partner there some advantage, but Bucky cuts him off from it, drops a leg. Brings him up to a stand. Drop. Oh, he's going to drop him on the back of his head again. Oh, and he does it. The ref has not moved the chair out of the ring yet. And another clothesline. There it is. The ref's finally getting the chair out of there. Oh, that's, what, the third, third clothesline like that? Goes for the pin. One, two, three. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Baki finally puts somebody away completely. I mean, you get dropped on the back of your head twice and two, three huge clotheslines. Look, and a couple of rising knees. I'm surprised that Fear is even able to function at this point. Small package, too. He kicked out of the small package. It is the most devastating move in all of professional wrestling. After reviewing my notes regarding championships, it does I do see that Dr. Fear back in June did hold the uh, Chowda Championship at one time. But Baki, congratulations. Showing why you, Oma, and Uncle Freddy are a formidable force. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back from commercial. We have more tag team action ready for you. It's Phantasm, who is also on a mission to challenge Brooklyn Bratva for the tag team championships. And with the way that Wu World Order's been uh, plowing through teams, I, these uh, Phantasm and Wu World Order are on a collision course. They're going to end up facing each other soon. Uh, to determine who's gonna face Brooklyn Bratva, but you never know, another team could swoop in, take over the win streaks, and uh, move on instead. Who are they facing tonight? Nightmare and Gazan. Hmm. Let's see who their opponents are going to be. It is the Stormbringers. Wu World Order had the easy team of the, the Empire earlier. And now, <laughs> and Phantasm he gets the Stormbringers. I don't think this is fair. I, I honestly don't think this is fair whatsoever. This challenge is not equal in any way to the Empire. I mean, Wu World Art has had two easy, easy wins. First the T-Tops, then the, the Empire, while... Well, Phantasm over here has had, you know, Fork Nut and now the Stormbringers. Who knows? Maybe uh, Biff Striker's doing a, uh, a little bit of the deal for Wu World Order. Anyway, Phantasm, let's get it on. Taking on Stormbringers. Spear out of nowhere for Nightmare. While Lightning takes on Gazan. Thunder reverses Nightmare and takes him over. Lightning and Kazan are on the outside. I'm going to try to stick with the action on the inside. Thunder, snap suplex, runs to the far side, hits him with a big boot. Nightmare started off strong. Kazan just taking Lightning out on the outside right now. Just strike after strike after stomp. Nightmare finally comes back against Thunder, but Thunder reverses into a DDT. Lightning finally gets himself together, but does Gazan dodges that drop kick inside the ring. Thunder and Nightmare. Nightmare sends Thunder over the ropes and spears him to the outside. Lightning receives a 
elbow drop from Kazan, and then an arm breaker from Nightmare. Thunders on the outside. Kazan's giving him a look and jumps out after him. Now Lightning and Nightmare are inside the ring. Kazan with a series of elbow strikes to Thunder's head. Nightmare taking Lightning down hard. Another strike. As gives him the boots. Oh, Thunder sent into the stale steps on the outside by Kazan. Lightning with a series of leg strikes on Nightmare. Got to chop the big man down. And a backbreaker. Thunder is not faring well on the outside with Kazan right now. Kazan to the top corner. And a backbreaker from Nightmare. Thunder rolls out of the way, but he's caught by Nightmare. DDT from Thunder. And a big boot from him as well. Kazan fights back. This is back and forth action, ladies and gentlemen. Jawbreaker from Thunder. Nightmare seemingly takes out Kazan while trying to go after Thunder. Thunder takes out his own partner. Backbreaker from Nightmare. He moves from one tag team. Oh, RKO out of nowhere. Goes for the pin. One, two, just a two count. Thunder seemingly dodges out of the way of that move. Takes Nightmare down. All the Phantasm's on the ground right now. Thunder's doing all the work here. Lightning starts to crawl back to his feet. Nightmare giving an arm breaker. Lightning just no, does not able to have, is not able to get Nightmare in his grasp. Huge suplex. Zan goes back to work on Thunder. Who reverses him? Leg sweep. Thunder and Nightmare going at each other. Nightmare reverse DDT. And another. I don't know if it's targeting the elbow or if it's targeting the arm, but that dev that spike is just evil. It's devastating. Oh, uh, this is. Kazan with the, he was setting something up, but Thunder got broken up there. Ducks under, gives a series of strikes to Thunder himself. Sand set something up, but Thunder scouted it. RKO! Nightmare goes for the pin. It's broken up. Nightmare just plants lightning on the ground there. Lightning starts to get back to his feet. Reverses Nightmare. Nightmare reverses him. DDT from God Gazan. Stomp. Thunder. A lightning reverses Nightmare. And then Dodge is just out of the way. Jawbreaker from Lightning. Nightmare. What has he got planned here? Snap suplex. While Kazan and Thunder are going back and forth on the ropes there. Nightmare misses a spear in the corner. I don't even know what that move was from Kazan. I'm completely stunned. He came out of nowhere, jumped over Lightning, and now they're giving the boots to him. Phantasm is working in tandem to take down members of Stormbringers. Stormbringers are definitely on the bad side of this, this exchange right here. Another RKO! Goes for the pin. 
Um, immediately breaks it. Lightning gets back in the ring. Thunder reverses with a dragon screw. Nightmare has, th has lightning. Gazan is taking on Thunder. Goes through, grabs the ankle, trips him down, and goes for a... Ooh, I don't, that's definitely damaging to the knee. Up lightning goes, and he's over. Series of strikes from Kazan to Thunder over there. Nightmare gets Thunder back to his feet. But Thunder reverses him. Gives him a hard left hand there. He's caught him with a, with a choke slam. Up light, Nightmare goes, and he's back down. Oh. Kazan with a slap to Thunder. And then a series of strikes right after. Lightning is barely starting to get to his feet now. Kazan sets something up. Oh, lightning from nowhere! Takes Nightmare out of the ring, leaving Kazan and Thunder in there. Spinebuster from Thunder. Clothesline from Lightning. Phantasm starts to fight their way back, but Thunder is not having it. Neither is Lightning. Stormbringers have taken over here, ladies and gentlemen, doing as much damage as they possibly can. They were allowing Phantasm to uh, lull into a false sense of safety there. Nightmare's lucky with that rope break, but he's not lucky from the damage he's re he received from that. Nightmare back to his feet, and Thunder starts posing. Nightmare finally gets himself together. And he starts laying waste to the Stormbringers. Far rope me? Near rope me? We know what's happening next, ladies and gentlemen. That's the Russian leg sweep. Nightmare. Standard combo here in the company. Kazan goes for the pin. One, two. Oh, just a two count. Nightmare goes for the pin after an RKO. One, two. Just a two count as well. Phantasm seems to be getting a little desperate and or they want to put away this match. Kazan with the pin. One, two, three. And then uh, Kazan just spikes. What is that? Thunder's head off the, off the mat there? A little cheap way to end the match. No, no. They should be uh, disqualified for what they did right after the pin. Kazan spiking uh, Thunder's head off the mat after picking him up, at, trying to break up the count, but being late. These bad guys right here, bad guys. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the fourth match of the evening. We have a singles match. This is a qualifying match Making for the Big the Ham ring. Championship, From which will be hell, crowned for the first time this year at Triple H. Well, when Triple H gets here, it's Vaughn versus Doom. Vaughn's coming out with a chair, ladies and gentlemen. I don't think Doom has any idea. No, he doesn't. Vaughn attacks him with the chair. On the outside, the bell rings. This is a no DQ. Extreme rules. All weapons are welcome. Vaughn is just taking it to him. Over and over again. Chair strike. Unprotected chair strikes to the head. It's like the Rock versus Mick Foley all over again, ladies and gentlemen. 
Vaughn, reverse DDT onto Doom. I don't know why, Vaughn keeps volunteering for the Big Ham Championship, and every time it just does not necessarily work out well for him. Doom steals the chair, no, they just, it just lands on the floor. Vaughn fights back, dives into the ring. And Doom comes, grabs the chair and comes right back after him. Oh, it's right to the face. Another one. Much like last week's match between TV Kid and Ichigo, this is just a brawl, ladies and gentlemen. The idea behind the Big Ham Championship has certainly changed. Vaughn's back to his feet and back down. He's, I think he's been busted wide open. Further chair shots. Doom gets Vaughn to his feet. Clothesline down. Will this be the end for Vaughn here? Vaughn up and, oh, he squirrels his way out. Catches Doom, puts him up on his shoulders, sends him over. Takes a little quick jab at the back of the head, goes for the pin. One, just a one count. Doom has much more resilience than that. Oh, never seen that move from Vaughn before. Doom catches the chair. They lose control of it once again. Close line from behind. Doom sends Vaughn to the Vaughn has been busted wide open. He is, he's bleeding all over the place. Someone make sure that the uh, medical staff is all set in the back. Got that, Tony? Got it, all right. Vaughn seemingly fights his way back. I don't know how he's able to see anything. That is cascading down his face, onto his chest through his beard. Clothesline, a second clothesline, off the rope, drop kick, but Doom doesn't fall. Vaughn wasn't able to finish off whatever move he had there planned, but uh, Doom is now back in control, trying desperately to make Vaughn uh, just be knocked out here. Doom gets Ver Vaughn to a vert vertical place and brings him all the way over for a suplex. Vaughn with a reversal. It's... Oh, no. He was going for a suplex, but Doom reversed him. Vaughn reverses that. Collects him up one more time. Up and Brain Buster. Drops Doom directly on top of his skull. Vaughn gets Doom up in the air again. Sends him through. His own version of the sleigh ride goes for the pin. One, two. Oh, just a two count. Vaughn almost put Doom away. Fast hands from Vaughn. This match is not going the way that anyone thought it would. That chair that Vaughn brought in at first, that was a smart move on his part. He was outmatched, outsized. Gotta bring a, a weapon with him. <laughs> Doom just steals it right out of his hand. Vaughn rolls to the outside. Need to collect his breath for a second. Doom comes out and joins him. Drop kick from Vaughn sends Doom into the ring. Well, off the ring. Chair shot. And another one. And another one. Do we have DJ Khaled on the script? Vaughn brings Doom to a vertical base. What does he have planned? He's up and DDT onto the chair. Vaughn is thinking three moves ahead right now. Starts working over the neck and the shoulder. You can't swing a chair if your arms don't work. Vaughn brings Doom to a vertical base. Sends him into the, into the stairs. 
Von rolls back into the ring just to admire himself while Doom just continues to writhe on the outside. Von collects the chair, slides back into the ring. Doom is challenging Von. <laughs> Doom just knocks the chair out of Von's hands, but Von fights back. Chops back and forth, fast hands from Doom. The crowd does not seem to enjoy Doom on the winning side right now. Oh, another chair shot, another one. Vaughn collects the chair. Oh, it's dropped in the, on the ring. Vaughn with a spike. Oh, Vaughn, Vaughn just, I don't know how Vaughn's staying in this match at this point. He's, he's got to have lost a lot of blood at this point. Knee shot, runs to the far ropes, comes back, hits him with a, oh, busts Doom open. I could have sworn I saw blood spray out from underneath that mask. We've seen that devastating move from Vaughn in the past. It's won him matches against the Llama. Goes for the pin. One, two, three. Vaughn is your winner. He'll be moving on. He's one step closer to Triple H and the Big Ham Championship. It was those early chair shots from Vaughn that I, I think just evened the match out. I mean, he was but terribly, terribly busted open. But we'll, we have found out that Vaughn, once he sees blood, if it's his own, he gets bloodthirsty. On the outside of DDT, on top of, onto the chair. Vaughn, uh, Doom tried desperately to fight back. But here, here is where he lost it. A little faint, knee shot, and a kick to the Man. face. Congratulations, Vaughn. I, I, medical staff is all set for him, right, Tony? All right, that's awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, Vaughn, congratulations. Go ahead. Uh, Tony already has your medical stuff set up in the back. Welcome back from commercial, ladies and gentlemen. It is time for the main event. This is a triple threat match set for the Chowda Championship, which is sponsored by your Grandma Must Clam. The challenger. Normally, from Jedi would cut in there with uh, Chowda. At 263 pounds, you know, it's difficult Punisher, to do these callbacks Ray without my, my tag team, my partner out here. Anyway, this is sponsored by your grandmama's clam, Chowda. It's really creamy and chunky. And it loves to have crackers on it. Anyway, we've got a triple threat match. The Punisher is coming out here. He's thrown his hat in the, in the ring once again for this. He'll be taking on Iron Fist and Dragon. Iron Fist won last week. Let's see if he can continue his winning ways here. Then again, it is the Chowder Championship. You, uh, on average, a champion only holds it for about two weeks anyway. Somehow, Dragon lost the championship and is still in these matches. I, it's a smart move. Not getting pinned is actually as good, if not better, than, than winning the championship itself. Let's bring out our second challenger. Frank is off his Frank is on his meds again. He's quiet. Here comes Dragon. And introducing the challenger. One half of DND. Weighing in at 309 pounds. Just saw the Doom Dragon. lose, and hopefully, Dragon will not fall to the same, in the same way that that Doom did. Oh. 
Every time Dragon walks out to the ring, I swear he's thinking about every single thing he's ever done in his entire life as he comes down the ramp. It's a good, uh, it's a good thing that he's wearing his mask. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, go ahead. Wear your masks when you're out in public, when you're out with other people. W honestly, any place, except for at home or in your car. If you're in your car alone, you look like an idiot. But our audience here at New England Wrestling Alliance, they do a, we do a great job of testing every single one of these people and then keeping them in isolation after that. Mostly we just lock the building so they can't leave. Anyway, here's the champion. Look at that beautiful belt. The Chowda champion himself, Iron Fist. This is his first defense of this belt since winning it last week. Let's see if he can walk out of this still champion, or maybe Dragon will take it back. It'll be his. If Dragon takes it, it'll be the third chance, third time he's held the belt. If the Punisher wins it, it's the Punisher's, wow, oddly enough, first ever Chowder Champion win. Really? Hmm. That is, that's a true fact. Normally, I'm just talking out my ass here. Anyway, Iron Fist, he's been out here for a couple, a couple of weeks now. Won it just last week after pinning T.A., Dragon was able to stay in the match for this week after not getting pinned last week. But we've got three men in the ring now. Look at that beautiful belt. Remember, it's brought to you by, brought to you by your grandmama's clam. Shout out. It's soupy. Who's writing this stuff? Anyway, let's get it on. Everyone's running around right away. Punisher goes after Iron Fist. Dragon goes after Punisher. Iron Fist gives a huge kick to Dragon. Triple threat match, all of the power. I don't even know what swings around Iron Fist out of nowhere. And then sunset flip off the top rope. Dragon just stands there. Iron Fist and Dragon, I mean, as the champion, you are a target. Then again, you don't have to be pinned to lose the belt. Dragon is a great example of that. He, he was in last week's match, did not get pinned. That's why he's here this week. Punisher is trying to slow down the match with a submission move. It's not going to work. Not against Iron Fist. His training is too good. Super kick from Iron Fist. Iron Fist top rope, drop kick onto Dragon, who's having words with somebody on the outside. I, did one of the fans say something about him? Anyway, Iron Fist and Dragon brawl on the outside. Punisher waits for them patiently inside the ring. You can only win by submission or pinfall inside the ring. Dragon. Up, Iron Fist down. The Punisher on the top rope. Somehow dodges out of that move. Another dodge by Dragon. Oh, neck breaker. Dragon gets Iron Fist, picks him up, takes him over for a suplex. And the Punisher collects Dragon. Triple threat action, ladies and gentlemen. It doesn't get hotter than this. I mean, it would if we were in a different location. But it's New England. We complain about the weather no matter what. Iron Fist and Punisher going back and forth in the ring. I've seen Dragon and Punisher back and forth in the ring. Iron Fist and Dragon. Hara Karana spins around, sends Dragon to the far, far side of the ring. Iron Fist walking back and forth between both of these guys right now. Backflip suplex, uh, sorry, backflip senton. 
and then takes the Punisher down. Iron Fist is in control here, ladies and gentlemen. The champion is ready to show why they're the champion here. Arm drag takedown, and then Iron Fist poses. That devastating Kamehameha is broken up by Dragon, who gives Iron Fist a sleigh ride. Punisher misses a couple of times and then finally collects Dragon. Their feud is not done. About a year ago, the two of them, Punisher blames Dragon for losing a match. Dragon thinks Punisher is just, well, not that good. Oh, ankle DDT. That could damage somebody's Achilles tendon. Or really ir irritate bone spurs. Not entirely sure which. Punisher with a series of strikes of his own. Dragon comes right back. Iron Fist gets, finally gets back into the ring. Where was he? Dragon. With one of those arm shots. Iron Fist take, oh! Bulldog from Punisher. And then a series of just gives the boots to Iron Fist, goes for the pin. What? No, not even a one count. Iron Fist isn't even ready for a rest yet, but he's still laying down there. Punisher getting, and Dragon lock up. Punisher sends Dragon hard back down to the mat. Punisher is setting something up while Iron Fist gets back to his feet. Oh, he was going for a stunner there. Punisher and Iron Fist dodging and trying to strike each other. While Dragon is slow to his feet. Oh! Punisher just eats that 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 fist shot. Sends him over. Dragon's finally back in the ring. Takes Punisher down as well. Starts taking shots at Iron Fist. Iron Fist back to his feet, collects and drops Dragon hard. And then fights back against Punisher. Iron Fist is showing why he is championship material here, ladies and gentlemen. I wouldn't be surprised if he decided to try to challenge for the New England Wrestling Alliance Championship in the near future. Dragon Punisher still going at it. Dragon rolls to the far side of the ring and all the way out. Iron Fist taking down. Punisher's just looking for any target. Goes for the pin. One, two, oh, just a one count. Iron Fist rolls to the outside. Does a little pose. Punisher up in the corner. Yeah, Iron Fist is not happy with Punisher trying to uh, celebrate. So he starts giving him a bunch of shots to the leg. And then a shot to Dragon. Suplex up and over. Iron Fist once again going back and forth between his opponents. But the Punisher fights back. Spinning back fist. A chop. Dragon gets confused and taken out by Punisher. Hurricane from Iron Fist. There it is. The Kamehameha. Iron Fist goes for the pin. One, two, three. And he retains his championship, ladies and gentlemen. Iron Fist puts 
Drag it away. Here is your winner, and still Punisher is will be carrying on to United next week States next week's champion. match. Congratulations, Iron Fist, on retaining the New England Wrestling Alliance Chowda Championship. Brought to you by your grandmama's clam, Chowda. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for checking out this week's episode. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and join that notification squad.